Hi guys. As part of today's lab, we will take a look at how to interface a character LCD with the PSOC. So in today's lecture, we will first understand the basics of the character LCD component. Then I will take a look at the connections of the LCD with the PSOC Pioneer kit and then we will take a look at a few labs where we will first display a regular name and then we will look at the scrolling character so a little bit of programming as part of the lab. So before I start with the lab let us first look at the character LCD component in PSOC Creator. So when you declare the character LCD component as a part of your schematic at that time the component places seven design pins on your schematic the design pins are given in a fixed format this can be looked at the data sheet so for example this is your character LCD component that you can drag and drop from the component catalog here and then in the data sheet you have the functional description given to you where port 0 of your LCD component is data bit 0 port 1 is data bit 1 port 2 is data bit 2 port 3 is data bit 3 but for the LCD component port 0 is DB4 port 1 is DB5 port 2 is DB6 port 3 is DB7. I'll explain this as part of the connections. Port 4 is the enable, port 5 is register select and port 6 is read write bar. So that said, if we declare the LCD component here on your DWR that is the device wide resources, it automatically places seven pins which you must map to physical pins on your board. So that I will explain as part of this lab. Let's take a look. So you would take this connection here which is DB4 and connect it to your data bit 4 that is pin number 11 of your LCD. Then this connection would be made here. This connection would be made here and this connection would be made here. On the other hand, port 4 will go to enable which is pin number 6. Port 5 of your component, please understand this is the port of your component, would go to register select which is this one and port 6 would go to read write bar. Okay, so now what if if this is my LCD and these are my logical connections So this is my physical LCD and this is my LCD component. So the LCD component has its logical connections here and this is my PSOC board or let's say my PSOC chip for now and my PSOC chip has physical pins and let's say I connect it to port 2 so this is P26, P25, P24, P23, P24, 
P2, 2, P2, 1, and P2, 0. So I have to first map my logical ports to the physical pins. Now this is done in your CYDWR. So here, if you see, we've mapped LCD port 6 down to 0 to the physical port P2, 6 down to 0. And then what we do is, we know that P2, 6 is your read-write bar. So this connection here will go to your read-write bar. Now this is the physical LCD. This is the component. So P25, let's check again. P25 goes to register select. So we would connect this here. P24 would be enable. P23, let's look at this again, would be DB7, which would be here. P22 is DB6, P21 is DB5, and P20 is DB4. Now, the reason why I'm explaining this, because these are your physical connections. All right? So now that we've figured the connections out, let's look at the final connections on the board. So if this is my LCD, pin number one, I shall connect to ground. Pin number two goes to VDD. Pin number three is contrast, which I also connect to ground. So I would keep this common. Pin number four is register select. So register select, as we know, goes to P25. So register select would go to P25. Read write, let's check again. Read write would go to P26. Enable would go to P24, if I'm correct. Yes, enable goes to P24. And then DB4 is P20, P21, P22, and P23. All right, now these connections will be made on your PSOC for Pioneer board and I shall explain the connections on the board soon. So I hope that you guys have understood this. You first have your logical connections which have to be mapped. This is done on your CYDWR. Now the logical connections can be viewed on your data sheet here and then these are the physical connections that we have to make. So let us understand the connections between the PSOC4 board and your character LCD. Pin number one, which is your ground, I have connected to a common railing on your breadboard here. This common railing, I have then connected it to ground which is here, this railing here. And that wire, as you see, let's quickly trace the origin of that wire. So that wire here, which is this one, this is connected to ground right here. Now, this is ground on your board. Let's move this back a little bit to understand it more clearly. So this is ground. And this I have connected here. Now, pin number two, which is VDD, pin number two, VDD, I have connected it to the upper railing, which is the second one in line here. And then, in as this is shorted to this wire here, this has been connected to your VDD of the board, which is here, this particular connection, this wire. And then, pin number three is 
your contrast which again we connect to ground so since these two terminals here are shorted and this is finally as I said is connected here to ground so these are your power terminals and then pin number four which is your register select if you look here on the data sheet we know that register select must go to port 5 now since we have connected the LCD to P2 so register select will go to P25 so register select which is this wire here goes to P25 which is this connection right here this one and similarly the next terminal which is your read write bar is connected to P26 as you can see here on the data sheet so this is connected to P26 and last your enable is connected to P24 then this is DB4 is connected to P20 again you can check this is these are the connections now the connections are just for your information the connections can be clearly seen on the back of the board here so this is DB4 DB4 is connected to P20 DB5 is connected to P21 DB6 is connected to P22 and DB7 is connected to P23 again make sure that your connections are in order and then after these connections are done please connect up your board and let us look at the project now in your project here in the schematic you drag and drop the character LCD component from here which is in the display section go ahead and name it as LCD then in the DYDWR please make sure that you map this to P26 down to 0 so again just for a revision P26 must be connected to your read write bar P25 must be connected to your register select and so on and so forth and then let's look at the C program first you need to declare the API which is LCD underscore start now this name LCD here should be the same as this name that you have here and then in your for loop first you need to set the position now this API what it does is that it sets the cursor position on your character LCD right here on the board so 0 0 would mean this first location here which is 0th row and 0th column on the board now back to the software here the print string function would print a value now let's go ahead and change this to PSOC and then let's put in a delay for one second and then we would clear the display and then again wait for one second this process will be repeated again and again so the name PSOC will keep blinking on your LCD screen so let's go ahead and build this lab and after that let's go ahead and program now let's keep our eyes on the board here you can see that now the display changed to PSOC now let's do a quick few experiments let's change the location instead of doing 0 0 let's do 1 0 and let's go ahead and program let's keep our eyes on the board here now you see that now I changed from the zeroth row I made it to the first row 
and now let's also do some programming here so let me declare an integer int i and let's write a for loop for i equal to 0 i less than 15 i plus plus let's make it equal to and now let's do something interesting with this that first I set my location which is 0 comma I and let's make this the letter P so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep increasing my location through the value I and I'm going to shift the letter P serially let's take a look what it does on the board as you see that now it clears and then it moves every time so this is a fairly straightforward application where you learned how to program the LCD using the PSOC 4 board now the three primary APIs which you need to know is the position, the print string, and the clear display. Now there are a few more APIs which you can take a look in the data sheet which depending on your application. So this is fairly straightforward. In the next lab session what we will look at is the analog interface where we will use the same lab connection that we have here and we would use a potentiometer which is an analog input to display the value on the character LCD. I hope this lab session was clear. I'll see you in the next lab session. Thank you.